Hi, I'm State Senator Joe Markley up here on the Capitol. Uh, Monday, just about noontime, uh, we found out yesterday that there appears to be a budget deal between the governor and Democratic legislative leaders. Uh, and we have some of the details of it. Appropriations Committee tried to meet this morning to talk about the budget, but they don't have any documents. And I don't have anything in my hand either, except some notes that I've put together. But uh, the word is that the House may be voting on this this afternoon, and it's not impossible that it might come to the Senate tonight. As usual, the worse it is, the quicker they try to ram it through. And they want to ram it through before you, as the taxpayers of Connecticut, have a chance to tell the governor and the legislators what you think of it. So the first thing I want to say to you is, right now, as soon as you get this, is the time to try to make your voice heard to legislators who, whose support will be needed for this tax increase to pass. And the people you need to talk to in particular are the House and Senate Democratic caucuses. There will not be a single Republican vote for this package of tax increases. If we can change just a handful of votes in either the House or Senate Democratic caucuses, we could stop it. The House Democrats are 800-842-1902, and the Senate Democrats are 800-842-1420. Uh, and the governor's office, if you'd like to express your opinion uh, to that body, is 860-566-4840. As for the package, um, it raises uh, something over three quarters of a billion dollars a year in new taxes. This will be the second biggest tax hike in state history, second only to the tax hike that Dan Malloy imposed on us uh, four years ago. Uh, and it starts out with uh, tripling the tax on data processing. Um, this is a tax which doesn't even exist in most states, and obviously data processing has become such a big part of business that it's going to hit uh, most businesses directly and all of us indirectly, tripling that tax. It also lowers the property tax credit that you take um, for uh, if you own a house uh, by $100. So it's $100 straight out of your pocket, and that's a tax increase of over $100 million on the middle class here in Connecticut. It redistributes uh, the property tax on cars, sets up um, a ceiling on the mill rate, uh, then uh, takes property tax statewide to make up for it for where the mill rate is high. What that means in the end is the money is going to go from the towns to the cities because the cities are the ones with the high mill rate. Um, it also increases again substantially the tax on hospitals. Uh, this administration has come back after the hospitals year after year after year. And I represent a number of hospitals and touch hospitals in other towns. And the hospitals I'm dealing with are not doing so well that they can afford to continue to pay these enormous tax increases. In Waterbury, the hospitals are the biggest employers, as well as providing an essential service. Why we're trying to uh, make them pay through the nose, I really don't understand. The, the governor's proposal also increases uh, the tax on the top rate among uh, taxpayers. And of course, the problem there, just like increasing the inheritance tax, is it's too easy for these people to move out of state. We can raise that tax rate and actually end up in, uh, collecting less revenue because the people who will pay it will find a way to avoid it. it this also scraps this, uh, a number of the sales tax breaks that were scheduled and reduces uh, the breaks that are given during the tax-free weeks. Uh, what's the result of that? Uh, Connecticut Business and Industries Association uh, has spoken out very clearly on the bad effect it's going to have on business. Uh, General Electric just came out today and said this increase is going to make them rethink uh, all the business that they're doing here in Connecticut. Um, let me remind you, Dan Malloy said uh, when he uh, was running just last fall, just a few months ago, there won't be tax increases. I'm taking that pledge. I couldn't before, but this is a budget I own. Well, if he owns this budget and he doesn't want a tax increase, first he shouldn't make a deal that involves one, and second he should veto that bill when it comes to his uh, desk. We can stop it from coming to his desk, but it has to happen today. Uh, that's why I'm sending this video out quickly. And again, let me urge you to call House and Senate uh, Democrats and call the governor's office and say no new taxes. Um, the numbers will be on the screen. I hope I'll have your help with this, and thank you for your attention.